This is the second video on intermolecular attractions and I'm going to go through permanent dipole-dipole attractions. In order to get a permanent dipole we need to have a polar molecule to begin with. So for example if we take HCl as uh, our polar molecule, uh, because the electronegativities of hydrogen and chlorine are different we get a permanent dipole forming in the molecule and when that comes near another HCl molecule the, there's attraction between the opposite ends of the molecule so delta, delta plus is attracted to delta minus and delta minus is attracted to delta plus. I remember these delta plus and minuses occur because the difference in electronegativities means that the more electronegative atom, in this case chlorine, that has uh, that pulls the electrons in the HCl bond more towards itself. It's important to note that dipole-dipole attractions are stronger than van der Waals forces. This means that the polar molecules, which have van der Waals attractions and dipole-dipole attractions between them, they have a higher melting point than non-polar molecules, which only have van der Waals attractions between those molecules. For example, if we take diatomic fluorine, which is a non-polar molecule, and again HCl, which is a polar molecule, notice that both of the uh, these have similar molecular weights, but because fluorine is non-polar, it only has van der Waals attractions, whereas HCl is polar. Um, it's got dipole-dipole attractions and van der Waals attractions between those molecules and that results in it having a much higher melting point than fluorine.